Hello. Uh, Wait, a few hundred dollars in this box. Uh, I'll talk to you later, Tor. What is it? It's uh, a pair of forks for my mountain bike. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. All right, you have back. a nice day. I'll come back. Is that the cooler film? Yes, it is. All right, you have a nice day. Hello, everybody. This is Spencer's Bike Hacks back with another video. In this video, I got a big package for the bike. So I've already opened it up. Let's see. Open these out right here. And as you can see, we have Manito. So, let's open this box and see what we got. something fell out. Oh. So what we have right here, we have a different color for if you want it darker, which I'm probably going to do. We have your 20 millimeter red space right there. And now for the money. Here they are. The Manito Marcors. So I'm going to get back to you guys in a few minutes. Now, what I'm going to be doing in a few minutes, I'm just going to be disassembling them, and I'm going to be making these 100 millimeter, 120 millimeters. So, um, what you're going to need for this, I'm not going to show it, but I'm saying, you're going to need a ratchet in a 13 sixteenths socket. Then what you're going to do, you're going to take this top cap off right here, where you feel the air, and take this little thing off the bottom and I'm gonna link Joe's video from take a hike shop where I bought these from and he is gonna show you in depth how to make these forks from 100 mil to 120 millimeters okay everybody I am back with the fork at 120 millimeters all he had to do was remove one of these little red spacers with your the boot so my head's gonna be out of frame for this because my camera isn't tall enough but I want you to focus on the bike so what you're gonna need a, just a simple torque torque wrench stuff like this then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove these bolts right here and I believe these ones are four millimeters they are, so I'm gonna get my four milliliter, and my torque, and I'm just gonna unloosen them. Now I'm just gonna go to this one right here, which this one, beautiful. So after this is loose, you're gonna realize your handlebars are loose, which are attached to your fork. So you're gonna swap the four millimeter out for a five millimeter right here. Then you're gonna take your top cap off. Pop this out, but you can use a little screwdriver. And make sure to save all of your parts right on the side. Use the four mil again, just to get this a little bit looser. There we go. This will come right off like this and make sure you rest your handlebars on a very safe place. No accidents. Then we're gonna take our spacer off, if you have any. Then all we have to do is just pop our fork out of the sear tube. And the part just fell. So now your fork's out and then your bike is just gonna probably fall on the ground. Perfect, it's not. So then, let's take our big wheel off. There we go. Unscrew this. It's a pain because it's so short. There it goes. It's coming out for now. Then we're just going to pop our wheel off. Then we're going to put our wheel to a side. 
And there goes my bike. That's your daily dose of internet. All right, also check him out. He's really cool, so I'm just gonna calmly place my bike down. And then what I'm gonna do just with this, so I'm just gonna take the air out of it. So, also you're gonna need, gonna need a shock pump to pump up the new ones, but to take the air out, I'm just gonna use my pocket knife. Oh, there's some yellow stuff came out of that. All right, otherwise, we gotta take that star nut out and then you got this little piece down here, which I'm not sure what it's called, but you gotta take both of those off and then convert them to the new fork. So I'm gonna cut back to you guys when that is done. All right, guys, I'm back while I'm editing the video and I just realized I forgot to show you guys how to install the forks. So I am so sorry about that, but Right now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading to our testing spot for the before and the after. So, in this next scene, that's what you should expect to see. I'll catch you guys then. Alright everybody, right now we're headed to the site where we're going to be testing out the suspension. So, I will cut back to you guys very quickly. All right, everybody. Now we're gonna talk about <clears throat> where I ordered my forks from. So I ordered my forks from a small shop called Take a Hike Shop based in St. Charles, Missouri. Now, they're not sponsoring me or anything like that, but I have to say, they have one of the best customer service experiences I've ever had. Because I talked to this guy named Joe, who I believe is the owner and manager of the shop, and he was giving me really good tips before I even got the forks. And I mean, it was just a pleasure talking to him. So I definitely recommend you just even just look at the website, which I will leave down in the description. So I just wanted to say a big thanks to Joe if he's watching this right now. And thanks for all the really, really good tips and all the experience that I've gained from that 15 minute conversation. Now, I'm gonna cut to some shredding at a park right near where I live. So, next scene, I will see you guys there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy those quick clips and yes, that last clip was not my bike. That was actually the friend who I was riding with today. One of my good friends, Joe, and it was his full suspension mountain bike, I guess. It's a downhill bike. It has the RockShox boxers on it and I don't know what the rear shock was, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and stay tuned for more. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload another video. I hope you enjoyed this video and this is Spencer's Bike Hack signing out. You guys have a nice day and shred on.